In this video, we're going to do some practice problems for adding and subtracting radical expressions. The first question says 4 squared of 3 plus 7 squared of 3. And if you remember correctly, we can only add radical expressions that have like radicands, and these are both the square root of 3. To add them, we just add the coefficients. So 4 plus 7 is 11, and the radical tacks on identical. So it's 11 squared of 3. On number 2, we're going to look for the like radicands. Um, these two terms with the square root of 2 are like, and we can put those together by adding 5 and negative 6, and that makes negative 1, square root of 2. And you can see I didn't really write the 1, but it's implied to be here. And these square roots of 7 are also like. This term has the invisible 1 in front of it, so I'm going to add the 1 and the 8, and that makes 9, square root of 7. On number 3, I'm looking for the like radicals. So this term and this term both have the square root of xy. So those are like radicals. So I'm going to add those coefficients. 5 plus negative 8 is negative 3, square root of xy. And this term has nothing to add to, so it's just going to tack on to the back. On number 4, I'm looking for anything that has square root of y to add to this term. So that would be these two terms. However, when I get ready to add the coefficients, I have 5x and negative 8. And they are not like terms. I cannot add 5x and negative 8. So even though they're like radicals, I still can't add them because their coefficients do not make like terms. These two terms, square root of 3x, I can add because I can add 9 and 6. And that makes 15 square root of 3x. Now, some people would combine this all into one term by putting the 5x and the negative 8, the coefficients in parentheses, and the square root of y afterwards. Um, and these are identical answers. It's just a matter of what uh, you prefer or your, your teacher. Um, I, as a teacher, as an instructor, am okay with either one of these answers. All right, at number 5, uh, we have some radicands that are identical. a squared, b cubed, they are all a squared, b cubed. Um, however, when I look at the terms in the front, this one in the middle does not have the x, so I won't be able to add this plus 2. But I can add these two terms. So I'm going to add negative 4x and negative 6x to make negative 10x, square root of a squared, b cubed, and... Um, then this term in the middle is going to just tack on to the end. And I can't add it. I can't add this term with this term because negative 10 and 2 cannot be added together. Now, I do realize that these radicands are not simplified. So this answer is not simplified until we go ahead and simplify these radicands. So to do that, we're going to do the perfects and the not perfects with this a squared b cubed. Um, and these are perfect, so we'll have an AB times this negative 10x. So negative 10x, AB, squared of B, and that's what the first term turns out to be. The second term is going to be almost identical. We'll have a 2, we have A squared, we have B squared, B cubed. So the square root of A squared, B squared is AB. So this will be plus 2ab squared of b. I still cannot add them, though, because this term has an x in it, and this term does not. I cannot add them together. On number 6, it looks like these are not like radicals. This is the square root of 12 and the square root of 27. Um, however, they both need to be simplified. So we're going to go ahead and do that. The 12 has a perfect factor of 4. So this will simplify to be 2 squared of 3. The 27 has a perfect factor of 9, so this will be 3, square root of 3. And they are like radicals because they both have square root of 3. So we have 2 minus 3 makes negative 1, square root of 3. Number 7 is the same situation. 
where it doesn't look like they're like radicals, but uh, they need to be simplified first so we can tell. So the 32 is 16 times 2, which simplifies to 4 square root of 2. The 18 is 9 times 2, which simplifies to be 3 square root of 2. And they are like radicals. They both have the square root of 2. So we just add the coefficients. 4 plus 3 makes 7, and we have 7 square root of 2. So on this page, we have all kinds of stuff going on, um, but none of this is going to be able to be added until we simplify. So we're going to simplify the square root of 27. 27 is 9 times 3, so we end up with 3 square root of 3. 48 is 16 times 3, so that simplifies to make 4 square root of 3. And 75 is 25 times 3. So that simplifies to 5 square root of 3. And it turns out that all three of these terms have a square root of 3. So we're just going to add the coefficients. 3, negative 4, and positive 5. Well, if we look at the positives first, we have positive 3 and positive 5 make positive 8. And 8 minus 4 is 4. So we have 4 square root of 3. On number 9, we're just going to continue to simplify. That square root of 12, which is 4 times 3, this square root of 4 becomes 2. I multiply it times this 3 out front, and I get 6 square root of 3. The 48, again, is 16 times 3. The square root of 16 is 4. I multiply it times this 2. I end up with 8 square root of 3. And they're both square root of 3, so I can add... 6 plus 8 is 14 square root of 3. On number 10, it's just more, more practice in simplifying, more terms. 108 is 36 times 3, so 6 times the square root of 3. 75 is 25 times 3. So this ends up being 3 times 5, or 15 square root of 3. And 50 is 25 times 2. So this ends up being 2 times 5, which is 10 square root of 2. Uh, so it looks like these two first terms are both square root of 3. So I can add... 6 and 15, but this one is a square root of 2, so I won't be able to add this one to the others. Uh, 6 plus 15 is 21, square root of 3, and this last term, 10 square root of 2, just tax on. Ooh, we have four terms here. So 8 is 4 times 2. So this ends up being 3 times 2, or 6 square root of 2. 48, again, is 16 times 3. So this ends up being 4 square root of 3. 27 is 9 times 3. So the square root of 9 is 3. Multiply it times that 5, we have 15 square root of 3. And this last term is 32, so that's 16 times 2. Square root of 16 is 4, times the 2 that was out front makes 8, square root of 2. So which ones are like radicals? This 6 square root of 2 and this negative 8 square root of 2, these are like radicals. And these two in the middle are both square root of 3, so they're like radicals. So we'll add the square root of 2 first. 6 plus negative 8 makes negative 2, square root of 2. And then we add the square root to 3, so we have positive 4 and negative 15 makes negative 11 square root of 3. All right, on number 12, two terms. We have a 5 out front here. 54 is 9 times 6, and x squared is perfect. So this will be... The square root of 9x squared is 3x. 
5 times 3x is 15x, and our not perfects come straight down. 24 is 4 times 6, and the x squared is perfect. So the square root of 4x squared is 2x. Multiply that times the 2, we have 4x, and the not perfects come straight down. And now we have like radicals, square roots of 6, and 15x minus 4x, so we can add these to make 11x, square root of 6. All right, for number 13, we have three terms here. So this first term has a 2a. 48 is 16 times 3. The a has only 1, so it's not perfect, but the b squared is perfect. All right, the square root of 16b squared is 4b. It's going to get multiplied times the 2a that's out front, and that makes 8ab and these not perfects are going to come straight down. Square root of 3a. In the second term, we have a negative b. 27 is 9 times 3. The a cubed is going to have to be broken up to be a squared and 1 extra. So the square root of 9a squared is 3a. When I multiply that times the b, I have 3ab and these not perfects, they come straight down. All right, the third term is 75, which is 25 times 3. I have an a cubed, which I'm going to break up to be a squared and 1 extra. And the b squared is perfect. So I'm going to take the square root of 25 a squared b squared, and that would be 5 a b. When I multiply it times the 3 that was here in the front, I end up with 15 a b. And these not perfects come straight down, square root of 3 a. All right, so what do we have? All three terms have the square root of 3 a, so they're like radicals. They all have an a, b in the coefficient, so we should be able to add all these. We have a positive 8 and a positive 15 and a negative 3. Well, 8 minus 3 is 5. 5 plus 15 is 20. So this 20a, b, square root of 3a. All 